So, welcome uh, to episode two of our uh, squat series of how to properly squat. Um, so I'm going to be the demo today because Matt's gone and messed his ankle up and he can't show us a proper squat at the moment, can he? <laughs> so, I'm going to go under the bar. So, so, as we've looked at, proper bar set up um, and unracking, we're going to go and get ourselves our armpits over the bar, line our neck and shoulders up with the centre knurling, that's the rough part in the middle of the bar. Pop ourselves underneath there into a quarter stance. Bar is on top of that shelf, on top of that upper back. Chest nice and tall, going to stand straight up. Two confident steps back. From there, feet are, in terms of the width, somewhere between hip and shoulder width, whatever is most comfortable for you. And then we can turn toes slightly out at 10 to 2 on a clock face. From there, chest up nice and tall, and we're going to get a big breath into our belly, push our hips back and down, and then knees are going to track over toes, and then drive hard into the floor, up to the top. Okay, so we notice now Luke's knees tracking over his toes. If they start to cave in, which would look like this, we're getting a little bit of an arch collapse and um, his femur is rotating inwards. So what we look to cue there is, imagine you're stood on a towel and you want to try and spread the towel with your feet, whilst your feet remain stationary. Um, I also like to talk about lifting arch up off the floor a little bit in a foot tripod. So if we talk about, uh, if we think about Heel, ball of our foot and little toe being in contact with the floor at all times and then spreading that towel on the floor, that will cue his knees to drive out over his toes. 